Well, thanks, Fridge, for kicking in the second I turn on the recorder. Uh, but anyways, how's it going, guys? It's Ryan here, and welcome to this really, really awesome money-making guide. Uh, so in this guide, we're going to be killing the Muspas, or the Muspas, or however you want to pronounce that. Um, I'll put a bunch of info about them up on the screen, but basically, they're level 150 combat. There are Maliers, Rangers, and Majors that all spawn in the same room. They do not hit very hard at all, although if they're all piling on you at the same time, they can tend to uh, wear down your HP a little bit. Um, and their drops are pretty amazing, uh, you get some great consistent money by killing them. So yeah, you need to have completed the Fate of the Gods quest. Uh, now, a reward from the Fate of the Gods quest is the Shard of Zaros. I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend bringing this with you. Uh, it makes them non-aggressive to you so you can kill them at your own rate. Uh, the other thing, I, other thing I wanted to say is... Um, you can choose between Legacy and EOC, they both have pros and cons. It's a little faster on EOC, um, it's a little more AFK, a little easier on Legacy, and you can really take your pick. It, work they it works quite well either way. And uh, now, the other thing you're going to need for this guide is you're going to need access to the Ancient Magics. Uh, reason for that is, they, um, when, you when attack with Ancient Magics, you deal double damage, so you can have some ridiculously high hits, um, and it's honestly, it's amazing how high you can hit with Ancients on these guys. Uh, so you want to make sure you're using Ancients, and they will die very, very quickly. Uh, now, the other thing is, if you don't have a Yak, you can want to use Magic Note Paper, because uh, you're going to want to wait to uh, basically note all the drops you're going to be getting. Um, which reminds me, drops you're going to be getting, you're going to get lots of Rune items, you get Rune Plate Legs, you get Rune Full Helms, and you also get Dragon Maces uh, very commonly um, as drops. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to get there. Uh, first off, if you have a 6th Age Circuit, you can teleport right from there, uh, from the 6th Age Circuit right to the entrance of the world gate, that's where you're heading. If you don't have that, uh, there are a couple other ways to get there, but I'm just going to show you the most simple way to get there if you don't have uh, access to the 6th Age Circuit. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to hop on to the Spirit Tree Network, it doesn't really matter how you get there, um, to the Spirit Tree Network. And then you're going to go to Tree Gnome Stronghold. Uh, there are other means of getting to Tree Gnome Stronghold, but basically get to Tree Gnome Stronghold. And then pretty much what you want to do is you want to head south, and then you want to head east. And it's as simple as that, so I'm just going to segue into a bit of music, because uh, it's not going to take that long, but it'll take a minute. Sorry about that little cut, I just um, figured I may as well add it to my map just in case because I wouldn't want to get lost while making <laughs> while making the guide, that'd be kind of awkward. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's a somewhat long run, it's not horrible, but it is quite a bit faster if you do have the 6th Age circuit. Uh, but yeah, here is the World Gate. Uh, so if you've completed the Fate of the Gods quest, you'll know sort of all about what to do with this, but pretty much, you click on it, um, yeah, and then you go on a Frenesque, you're going to want to click the cradle um, and it'll teleport you right to the room where you're gonna be killing these guys and they'll start spawning right away they spawn really quickly like you'll never be out of combat uh, the other thing that's great about these guys they give great experience um, and they're they're quite easy to kill as well so they're they're a great monster to train on great monster to kill um, yeah and as you can see I don't have any food with me I'm gonna be using soul split but blood spells will suffice as well um, so yeah, as you can see, they've already started spawning. I'm not going to kill them for an excessively long time. I just geared up for like a, a sample trip. Uh, I'm going to be killing them on Legacy because uh, that's how I killed them uh, when I did my calculations. Um, but it is slower on Legacy, so if you want to kill them on EOC, uh, it'll be probably 15-20% to 20 faster. Uh, but yeah, once you pot it up, select your spell. I would recommend just using Blitz because they kind of stay far away from each other. Uh, but yeah, just attack these guys kind of like this. And you'll see uh, see that hit, 1178, like the hits are ridiculous. Um, and this isn't even a very high level spell. Um, but yeah, you'll also uh, get lots of rune drops, like these soul runes, and you'll actually make back a lot of the runes you spend, except for the fire runes. Uh, so yeah, you just kind of sit here and you do this. I'll kill a couple more for you guys, uh, just so you guys can see, so I'll cut into some music. Uh, and then we'll go into the price check and stuff.
right, guys, so you probably have a decent idea of how this works. The thing I was going to say, so as I said, uh, the Shard of Zeros, it makes them non-aggressive. Um, check this out. As soon as I take it off, I'm going to get piled, and it's going to be not a very good time. So let's take this guy off for a minute. And, oh, I don't have space, of course. Let's drop the Dueling Ring, and let's yak away the, those guys. Uh, but yeah, when I take this off, you'll see I'll get piled, and it's a little harder. Uh, and I'm going to switch to Blood Barrage, just because these guys might stack up nicely. Uh, I could get lucky and they'll do that. Nope, they won't. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they do deal quite a bit of damage when they're all piled up on you. You should still be able to, like, out-eat them and all that, but, um, I find it not as enjoyable having them all on you the whole time. Um, but yeah, the other thing is I am wearing Subjugation, which isn't the best defensive armor in the game, not even close to it. So if you wanted to uh, make sure you were better defended, you could bring some, basically just bring some higher tier armor. Even something like Arams has better defense than the subjugation stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. See, I'm getting kind of wrecked. That's why you want the Shard of Zeros. Uh, but remember, that isn't like an additional requirement because you get the Shard of Zeros with the quest. Uh, so just make sure to use that when you get it. And as you can see, just in this short amount of time, I've already made some pretty good money. I'm gonna try not to die here. You know what, I'm just gonna take my dueling ring and teleport the hell away. Ah, yeah, let's go to Castle Wars. I mean, I could probably kill them. Yeah, I was fine. There's a Dragon Mace that I'm teleporting away from. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, just in that short time, that was like two minutes. Um, <laughs> lots of XP, and even more importantly, lots of good drops. We got uh, two sets of Rune Plate Legs and a Rune Full Elm, as well as a Dragon Mace. Um, that's very consistently what you get over a period of time, so that's really, really awesome. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of segue into what I got in 20 minutes. So, here is my loot from 20 minutes of killing these guys. Now you might be thinking, what's with these spines? You can't trade them. What do you do with them? Uh, well, you can turn these spines with the Elder Charms into summoning pouches, and you make a lot of bank in doing that. Uh, so as you can see there, I've got... 2,700 Elder Energy. Um, I just bought that on the G for 463k. Uh, now, when you add that to the Musk of Spines with the Elder Charm, you can turn it into a pouch which will allow you to make even more money. So I'm gonna go do that right now just to show you. Uh, obviously you wouldn't do this every 20 minutes, you do this after every trip and it doesn't take very long to do. I mean, it takes a couple minutes, you just kind of run there and back from pickup sticks. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back when I get there. So while I run uh, to the summoning obelisk, I just wanted to say, so making these pouches takes level 81 summoning. Uh, now if you don't have 81 summoning, it's not the biggest hindrance, you can just keep these in your bank and then whenever you get 81 summoning, uh, you can make a ton of money. Uh, so I'm just going to include these in the price check, um, but I'll also do a price check without the pouches as well, uh, just so that you know uh, what it's like without them as well. Uh, so that if you don't have 81, you can see how much money you're still making without even counting these spines. Uh, so, let's make these, um, Elder Charm Pouches. Nightmare Pouch. Make, you can get a decent amount of summoning experience. But look at this, I put in 463k into that, and what did I get out? I got out 1.145 mil. Uh, so, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is do the price check without even looking at those summoning pouches. Uh, this was the profit in about 20 minutes, uh, we made... 20 minutes, we made 847k. So let's quickly do the math on this. Um, 847,000 times three for one hour. That is 2.5 mil an hour without uh, looking at um, without looking at the pouches. Now, if I quickly close this and I put in the pouches as well, add the pouches. That is 1.145. So let's do 1.145 um, minus 0. 463. Uh, that adds an extra 682k per 20 minutes, so per hour. That adds 2 million gold per hour onto that. Uh, so instead of 2.5, you can make up to 4.5 million gold an hour uh, killing these Muspa guys. Uh, so that's why I'd strongly, strongly recommend killing them, uh, getting the Fate of the Gods quest done. They're always going to be a great money maker uh, because all these dragon maces and rune helms and rune plate legs, they're all pretty much at elk price. Uh, so they can't drop anymore. Uh, these pouches could drop a bit, but they are pretty much the most useful pouches in the game. Uh, they're basically the pack yak of divination, if you didn't know. So basically when you're capturing memories to train divination, they hold 30 inside of them uh, so that you can spend double the time collecting memories before you need to go back to the pool and um, 
sort of uh, give them back for experience. Uh, so anyway guys, hopefully you found this little money making guide helpful. I know a lot of the time I make a PowerPoint and do all that, but I thought it's not all that helpful for you guys. I don't think you guys really care too much about how much HP they have and all that stuff. Uh, it's not too important. Basically, they're not too hard to kill. You kill them, you make a ton of money. You can make these pouches or just hold on to the spines, keep them in your bank. And yeah, you make some you make some good bank. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this money making guide. Hopefully you enjoy. Have a good one and peace.